Like you want to use, you want to use scorpions just based on that. Like fuck the auto gimbal. You just want to use scorpions based on the ammo. Um. So the new PVP hotspot. What I've found, Zerbs, and we'll go over that right now. So this is what you can do as far as PVP in 3.5. Okay. I'll show you on the map here. Hurston is a no-go zone for PvP. You don't go here at all. That's trash. In Crusader, your PvP hotspots, of course, are going to be... If you're going to be lame, you can camp Port Olisar and ram ships and kill the rammers and all that nonsense. Um, there's always good fighting going on at uh, Spaceport Karaya over Selen now. Um, but if you want, like, random PvP, like destroying ships and everything, then what you do is you just fly over to Grim Hex and you start picking up these bounties that appear right here. And you just fly into the asteroid fields. And as you do these bounties, I promise you, within 10 or 15 minutes, you're going to find other players in these asteroid fields. And you're going to be able to kill them. And you're going to be having fun. Okay? That's one area of PvP. Um, the other area, of course around Crusader that you can do is once you do these bounty missions, if you get lucky and get the Pro Tim contract to actually work and you kill that bounty, you open up player bounties to you and anybody crime stat to or above will show up as a bounty for you then, okay? That opens up a whole new layer of PvP for you. The other aspect of PvP is over here on Art Corp. Um, as far as missions go, the problem with Art Corp right now is there's like, like in the PTU, there was like 35 missions around Art Corp. In the PU, there's like four. I don't know what the fuck they did, but they erased like three-fourths of all the missions they had for Art Corp when they put this thing into live. They're all gone. I don't know what happened, but there was so much more content around here. Um, and that's why a lot of people don't go here. That and the elevators in Art Corp Area 18 are fucked. Like, it, it'll say Elevator 10, and then it'll be an Elevator 1, or it'll say Elevator 5, it'll be a number 2. Um, and you can't find your ship before it despawns, so people don't like going back there. Um, that and the Comma Ray missions don't work around Art Corp. They're bugged. Um, but if you get lucky enough to get the Twitch mission or the Search and Destroy Narcotics mission, they'll take you to Lyria over a bunker and... You know, if you get the Twitch side, your job is to um, get the drugs out of the bunker and take them back to Twitch. And if you get the search and destroy, your job is to actually destroy all the drugs in the bunker and kill the other player, of course. And both players end up fighting over the same bunker. Um, both those missions are, one is the Twitch mission. All you got to do is go see her. She tells you to come see her. Um, and then you talk to her and you get that mission. The other mission is when that person picks up the Twitch mission, a seize and destroy mission goes out if, to people that are around Art Corp. A number of people can accept it, not just one, and you also get PvP that way. Again, it'll take you to the same bunker as the quest uh, receiver is told to go to. Um, that is more dynamic PvP, probably some of the best PvP in the game, in fact, that I've ever had, was doing those search and destroy missions versus other players, because you get ground combat, you get air combat. Um, a lot of fun stuff happens. Unfortunately, the lack of content around Art Corp is preventing people to go here and do this so all the content again there's no bounties over here so a lot of like the pvp content is really over bounty areas because the bounties are the best way to make money right now okay at like 8k a pop you just saw what i did i just got 8k for killing that bounty and i can get another one right now for another 8k so you can do these 8k missions like every five minutes and that really racks up that's how i got most of my money um all of my money here that i've made um, i had 300 plus uh, 1,000 the other day, and now I'm back up to 150. I took it down to like 90. I'm already back up to 150, just doing bounties every here and there. So that is like your PvP areas on this. As far as Drug Town and Jump Town, you have two. Okay, you have two runs now that are the most profitable, and they're in two locations. One is selling Stash House to Grim Hex, okay, over here. That's a run. The other run is on Paradise Cove on Lyria to Art Corp Area 18. That's a pain in the ass to do because you have to fly through this atmosphere and go on like the tram in Art Corp. So likely, and it, because everybody's around Crusader, likely the drug house camp 
is going to be the one on selling the stash house that's over here. I've not been to it yet, but there's one called stash house and that sells neon and then you can sell it to grim hex. Okay. Um, again though, no one's doing that because it's shit. You have to spend like 300,000 credits on neon to get a 50 K profit. Uh, when again, you can just come out here to these bounties and just do 8k bounties over and over and over and over and over. So that is your PVP areas in 3.5, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you might have some other ones, you know, and if you do, please share them. But that is where I've found, like, all the PVP is in 3.5. It's no longer you just sit over a drug town. You have to move around. And I promise you... The bounty, I get more PvP out in the bounty fields than I've ever, like, you, you just find random constellations, cutlasses, titans, whatever you, whatever it is, you just find it out there, and then you can just engage them and have fun. Oh, you can do Stellan Sash to Hicks Research on Stellan 2? Okay. Um, so I, apparently there's also a uh, Stellan Stash to Hicks on uh, Stellan Run that's pretty good. You say, what's the best PvP setup in 3.5, in my opinion? Um, anything with Gatlins. If you want to run Auto Gimbal, go the Scorpions or the Tiger Strike Gatlins or whatever they're called. And um, if you want to run Fixed, of course, uh, go Mantis. Or if you have, like, size 4 Gimbals, of course, go Mantis. Things like that. Uh, Gatlins, because they have the highest velocity as projectile speed in the game, um, they really reach out and touch, and uh, they also pin shields. So there's, I, I think there's like 15 to 30 percent shield pin on ballistics right now, somewhere around that area. And that's why I would, I would just outfit your gun with any kind of Gatlins you can get. That's it, pretty much. The Gatlin meta now. Before 3.4, I don't know why everybody's surprised about this either. It's like in 3.4 there was one thing everybody used. It was cannons. In 3.5, it's Gatlin's. This is what it is. If you want to use um, cannons, I would recommend mass drivers. They're size 2. Or the sledges, they're also uh, size 2. They're the, the same things. Sledges and mass drivers are both railguns. They seem to work the best. Um, and they do more damage than size 3 cannons. So, um, 